Good morning! I am Chiron Love O. Perez. So today, I am going to discuss about the values of poetry, the factors that influence appreciation of poetry, and also the suggestions in teaching poetry appreciation. But first of first, we are going to unlock first if what is a poetry for children. So, it is an artistic e expression of thought and emotion in rhythmical language. So, like a musical score that must be interpreted by the human voice in order to get the fullest enjoyment. So, the qualities of a poetry is, it has the musical and rhythmic qualities that children enjoy, it appeals to the imagination, the emotional content must be sincere, worth expressing and must be universal in appeal and also the subject of poetry must be varied then the values of poetry so it is it enriches children's experiences it develops correct enunciation and pronunciation of words it develops literary appreciation it develops imagination, then enlarges vocabulary, improves the aesthetic sense, gives them pleasure and delight, improves their outlook in life and nature. So those are the values of poetry. So poetry teaches us the beauty and potential of the English language, the innovative use of language of diction or word choice, metaphor and simile other figures of speech punctuation and capitalization we also have the uses of poetry this is to correlate worth other subject to commemorate certain events to express the meaning and rhythm of a poem in a pantomime to express their thoughts feelings and imagination than writing poems by children. So let's move on to the factors that influence appreciation of poetry. Poetry is so important because it helps us understand and appreciate the world around us. Poetry's strength lies in its ability to shade a sideways light on the world. So the truth sneaks up on you. Poetry teaches us on how to live. Poetry, if we lit it and embrace it, it can offer us a way to emphasize with one another. It is immediacy. Poetry is a counselor helping us to understand one another, leading us away from hate to love, from violence to mercy and pity. I've said it once before that poetry is a bridge. An immediate path to becoming better people and being the change in the world. Creating a world less about tearing each other down and apart and more about coming together. Helping us to realize that we're not as different as we think. And despite our differences, we are not alone in our grief, pain, joy, and happiness. Reading and writing poetry is the greater good, whose benefits are the rebuilding and forgiving a more connected and caring world. So let's move on to the suggestions in teaching poetry appreciation. So first, we are going to introduce poetry with poems that your students can relate to. This is huge. You have to hook students on poetry from the get-go. Many of them have a preconceived notion that poetry is boring for older folks, for girls, and you named it. It's your job to hook them. Second is read each poem aloud to students more than once. I am a firm believer in reading a poem at least twice. By reading a poem a second time, students can start to listen for the important components. And they'll discover things not seen before. When you reread the poem, ask students to listen for patterns for the overall flow of the words. Then, 
set up a poetry corner in your classroom. So, it is good if your students have much excited and keeping them excited about reading poetry. Then learn about the pit prior to reading their poetry. A lot of poets will po write poems under their mood, life events, family and relationships, and nature. Then spend time analyzing poetry to really understand the author's purpose. The fun of part of analyzing poetry is figuring out what the poet was trying to say. This is where the use of figurative language comes in. It's what makes the poetry have the music-like rhythm and flow. Start each day with a read-aloud poem. Because kids really enjoy hearing poems and the writing voice of different authors. Also, teach figurative language to help students better understand the poem's meaning. Understanding these poetic devices will help unlock the meaning hidden within some poems and allow for deeper critical thinking. Get excited when you teach poetry. Lit loss. When you really enjoy reading and responding to poetry, your students will pick up on your excitement. Use the funny voice when you read aloud. Give kids a chance to write their own poetry. Um, to solidify students' love for poetry, let them write. Encourage students to share their poetry. Once students have written some poetry of their own, let them show it off. That's all. Thank you for watching.